when we're trying to do this walk from the triangle to the circle, there is, there is some difficulties. And in the same time, there is some new awareness and skill that we want to develop. First, we need to understand that we are operating, we are acting in a very often complex environment. Our time is very much interconnected. One thing is affecting others. Communication is really fast. Information is moving really fast. Many times when we're going into this process, there is a lot of things that we don't know. There is new challenges. And this is why we, we sing in Dragon Dreaming what we call the pizza of knowledge. And the pizza of knowledge working very simply. There is thing that we know. I will ask you a question. And we have, we have this knowledge. I have this knowledge how to solve it. There is thing that I don't know. And I can go, I can ask, I can read, I can find solutions, you know, things that we can, problem that we need to solve. And we have, someone have the answer. Maybe I don't have the answer, but Julia can tell me, yeah, what the problem, do this and this, because she, she know it. But the big, but the big challenge is Things that we don't know, that we don't know. Some people seeing as like, what is the blind spot? You're familiar with the term a blind spot? Like something that we blind, we don't see it, but we don't know that we don't see it. If we start to value the diversity, the different life experience, the different culture we're coming from, the different education that we have, our inspiration, we can start slowly seeing things that we don't see. And this is one of the main practice in Dragon Dreaming, how we can see things that we don't see by accessing this collective intelligence, the collective knowledge that exists here in the room. Value each person, value each experience, and encouraging people to share them. And we're gonna talk later about what is exactly aha moments and how we're sharing aha moments and how we're starting to practice and voicing out this collective intelligence that we have around us. So what is an aha moment for you? Actually, there's this English term serendipity, which is like finding something good without looking for it. Oh, wow. Finding yes. something good without looking for it. Serendipity. Okay. I think serendipity, uh, collective wisdom, uh, what is it? The dream time, it's all in this space of unknown and, yeah, good. We say in Dragon Dreaming that aha moments are contagious, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you share them, if you say, oh, I had this aha moment and you share what it is, maybe the, the next person goes like, Oh, me too. And then you have, oh, yes, I had another one, and another one. And suddenly, like, you have thousands of aha moments happening. OK, so it's very important to share them. And collective intelligence is built on sharing many aha moments with empathy. I think it's very important. A driven circle is a process that we're doing when we want to create a collective dream. Remember, who has the wisdom about how to create a collective dream? What is important? To be able to create a collective dream, the individual dream must die. Or maybe I can say maybe the individual need to let go of his dream. Starting the dreaming circle is understanding that the project, I call it, the, the word that I'm using is a caller. Is that one, I have, a, I have a dream, I have a project, I'm calling for a group of people that I believe that will like to work with me, that maybe have similar, let's say my project is around education, so I'm talking with people I know that like education. Our 
goal is to create a collective dream. Basically, it's a co-creation process where now we're gonna, I'm gonna explain how the process is happening and in the end of the process, we're gonna have a dream, a new one, maybe different from what Victor thought. But the idea is that all our dreams in the team will be inside. And then remember the awareness and the motivation. So if I aware to what is my dream regarding to this project or initiative, I also motivate because I'm part of it. Not because someone pay me, not because somebody order me, because I choose to participate. And I have a place to say what is important for me. So how are we doing a dreaming circle? First, we're sitting around the table. Okay? We working in Dragon Dreaming, and I think we talk about it a lot with generative question. We have a question that's guiding us in the process, in the dreaming circle. The question we're gonna work here is, what should this project be like so we can say, we or I, so we can say it's been the best spending of my time and energy. And I advise you to stay with this question. This is why we're doing pinakari after. Okay, you're gonna have on each table, you're gonna have a bell, and we're bringing awareness. So we're starting with the generative question that we have. We're doing a pinakari, and then we start sharing a dream. And we do it in a circle, we're using the talking piece. Now, you, in any point, when someone feel, you can ask for pinakari. If you feel you need a moment for yourself, or you feel like maybe there is some dragon, some tension coming, we can connect again to the quality of the pinakari and of the deep listening. Okay? When is the process end? When it's ending? It's ending when we don't have anything more to share. When everybody feels they express. It can be after one round, after two rounds, after three rounds. And it's end when it's end. 